A primitive yet hugely invasive and resilient weed called field horsetail is causing concern in Manawatu, Whanganui, Gisborne, Marlborough, Canterbury and Hawke's Bay. The Horizons Regional Council has been investigating the weed since 2007 and a farmer group in Manawatu are working to find innovative solutions to this virtually indestructible weed. Field horsetail is one of the worst pests that we've got that's emerging to pasture and cropping land as well. It's not new to the region, it's been around a long time, but the growth and acceleration of the infestation has been quite marked in the last years. It's almost impossible to kill. So once you've got it on your property, um, you basically got it forever, unless you can get in in the very early stages. So the issue is not knowing that you've got it and then having it increase through your pasture into a stage where you can't really get rid of it. We've engaged ag research to look at the chemical control. We've looked at the pathway of spread from rivers through the gravel system into uh, roading material and then farmers using river run on tracking and other products on their farms. Unbeknownst to them, it's turning up inside their farm. One of the reasons horsetail is a great concern to us is not only that it's not grass and it will dominate pasture, is that it also has an impact on stock and the value of that pasture. So when you harvest horsetail bearing grass for like a hay product, it rots very quickly, promotes fungus, you've lost that hay. If it's 15, 20% of your hay, which it will be in some pastures, you can't feed it, you've, you've lost it. Um, we know from overseas, and a lot of the stuff we know about horsetail is from overseas. It is toxic to horses, it will tip them over. And we also know that um, it's very high in silica, so it's damaging to stock teeth, and it's potentially toxic and promotes ill thrift in, in other classes of stock, such as sheep and cattle as well. The thing with horsetail is, it's always spread invisibly. So it dies away in winter, and it just exists as a root mat. When it's harvested, the roots are spread, and no one knows. Come springtime, you're gonna get a little sprig pop up, and that'll be the first that you see, something like a little miniature pine tree. And then all of a sudden, after a year or two, you're gonna end up with a situation like this, total domination of the understory. And um, if this is your, a track edge or a berm of a road or the side or a headland of your pasture, then this is um, quite potentially what's gonna happen. What you see on top is a very small part of the plant. So it's the root system that is the strength of horsetail's ability to spread. And if you look at the root system, you'll see like what we've got here, you know, two daughters off this root system within maybe, you know, 100 mils. And every 50 mils, you've got a root node that is a growing point on it. And so when you're trying to look at horsetail, it's spread by its roots that are brittle. They just break quite easy. They get spread around in gravel or whatever uh, on machinery when you're cultivating, and that's what creates a new plant. And it has the ability to create new plants very regularly. Horsetail's ability to root down deep is quite immense. So here we have a plant that's about 400 high, and we've got this root structure that goes down at least a metre. It's not until we get a long way down this root system till we find what is basically a little tuber. Now this is horsetail's escape capsule. If you're able to get enough chemical through this small amount of top down this root system and kill a good chunk of it, it's still got a tuber that's fed by a small root that won't take up chemical to replenish it next year. So that's one of the messages with horsetail. You've got to treat that root system with persistence, so multiple times a season to not only get the chemical down through a small root system, but also to try and treat the following year's growth coming out of this tuber. Trials that we've undertaken with Ag Research to minimise the impact of horsetail and pasture has used the root system's brittleness to our advantage. So we can cultivate horsetail to you know, standard cultivation depth, it's going to smash it up. And then we leave the pasture fallow, or the cropping land fallow for a bit. Each one of those little bits of root is going to grow, and then we can spray it. And so we can kill that plant quite easily in that cultivation zone. But below the cultivation zone, we've got next year's problem sitting waiting. The best chemicals in our toolboxes are for cropland, where you want a bit of pasture, or you don't want it total denuded. You want to use triclopyr or graze on. And you want to come in at double rates, so probably 120 mils per 10 litres, something like that. Non-cropland, so if you've got horsetail on the edges of driveways or paths and things like that, you're going to want to use amitrol. 
And there is a chemical well, product called TAG, it's turb amitron glyphosate, it's a great knockdown and residual. Um, but even when you use these big guns at high rates, you're still going to have to look at maybe doing it a couple times a year. We converted a property and brought a lot of metal in from the Rangitiki River. And it was a couple of years later we started to see this weed starting to appear through it. So I did a bit of reading up and a bit of research and uh, discovered it was field horsetail. And by chance, uh, shortly after that, the Horizons Regional Council and Landcare Trust uh, ran a, uh, a, an evening up in Bulls. Uh, so I went along to it to find out a bit more about the horsetail, and that's how I got involved with the horsetail group. As a group, we uh, applied for some funding from the Sustainable Farming Fund to do a biocontrol trial uh, down at Lincoln, which we currently have underway, and it's been going for about 12 months now. Uh, we've imported some uh, bugs out of the northern hemisphere that, that live in the environment with horsetail there. Uh, and the aim of the project is to, is to trial these bugs in our southern hemisphere environment uh, and hopefully have a, a positive outcome that they will feed on the horsetail here and care to get it in balance with its environment. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.